Hey guys, I'm Rob Shukraft with Three Store Fitness. Today I'm going to be talking about my Rogue Fitness Ohio Power Bar. Let's get a little shot of that end cap there. Ooh. There we go. Alright, this is Rogue Fitness Ohio Power Bar. Uh, this, I believe, replaced the Road Bar originally. That's why they made it. I spent about $275 on it. And... I think $250, I got the black zinc version. Uh, $250, you get the, the bare metal version, which requires a little bit more upkeep. Uh, most people kind of prefer the look, or at least the wear of the bare metal version. Just keep that in mind. It, it doesn't come in a stainless steel version. It doesn't come in a chrome, chrome version, which would be a little more of, uh, of, of expensive options anyway, a little out of my budget. I like the black zinc look. I think it looks sweet when you first get it. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't necessarily want to take care of, doesn't want to necessarily put in the maintenance of, of you know, cleaning the, the bell and, and uh, you know, putting the bar cleaning kits and the WD-40 and all that stuff on it, which is actually super, super easy, but I just know that I'll get lazy on doing it. So I decided to do the thing that's not going to oxidize. The thing is, if you've ever seen an old black zinc bar, it doesn't look like this the whole time. After a couple of years, this thing's going to be kind of a greenish color, but it's still going to be, it's still going to work very well. Some people also like to uh, have, have a little bit of a criticism on the way the grip feels. Not necessarily for this bar, but just when comparing the, the zinc finish to the uh, bare metal or a chrome finish. Honestly, I don't think there's that much of a difference. I pulled the trigger on it and I... I held both of them and this is just the option I went with and I'm pretty darn satisfied. So, but just to get that out of the way early on in case you have any uh, qualms with the, uh, with the finish. Um, so this bar is not an Olympic lifting bar. This is pretty much a power lifting bar through and through. It contains no whip by design. It does have a little bit of a, a bend, a nice healthy bend. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the yield is on it, but any bend that I have put on it, I put up to 600 pounds on the bar, and um, as you can see, it is 180 degrees straight as an arrow. It went right back into form after a slight bend. You have uh, just the standard powerlifting markings, markings, 32 inches in between. Um, you have the center knurling, center knurl rather, or knurl. If you're stupid, uh, the center knurl for to aid in squats. Uh, this kind of sits on your uh, on your upper back, kind of gives you just a little extra grip, uh, a little extra cheese grater. Get some of that hair off too. Uh, we have we have uh, uh, brushings, not the uh, not the bearings like you would see in a yeah, a little bit of a spin, a little bit of a spin, just the, about the amount that you would need. Uh, for, for any kind of power lifting, maybe cleans, um, but you're not going to be doing anything much more dynamic than that. So you don't need that extra, extra momentum, that extra spin. Uh, no complaints there. Uh, the, as you can see, my ends are a little, just a little bit beat up. Um, I kind of like the way that looks, as I mentioned before. I sort of like the look of used equipment. And uh, this, I have used the crap out of it in the last uh, four months. Most, by the way, and I'm going to mention this when I do the review of this SS yoke bar here by Elite FTS. Um, most of the damage that you see here is because I chose to uh, hit a garage sale up for about half of my weights. And, uh, you know, when you put crappy weights on, on a nice bar, you, you, you're taking a risk. And that's what's going on here. Had I used nicer weights, bought new weights, this thing would probably still be sparkling. Anyways, moving on though, um, I talked about the yeah the tensile tensile strength. It's got mad tensilage. Um, <laughs> it's about two hundred five thousand psi, uh, which is just totally exceeds any kind of limitations that I'm going to put on it. Uh, like I said, uh, any bend that the bar has is going to come right snap right back into uh, right back into form. It is just a total work workhorse. I mean. Like I said, other than other than uh, a nicer finish, like a stainless steel finish, or like a really nice chrome finish, uh, you're not gonna. I just don't have any other other needs. I mean, as far as just from a utilitarian standpoint, this thing is just a beast. And for two seventy five, that might sound expensive if, if you've done most of your barbell shopping at like um, 
I don't know, Dick's Sporting Goods or something. But 275 for a bar like this, I think is just a great deal. I can't remember if I talked about the neural. I don't think I did. The neural here or the grip, it is on the Rogue site. They refer to this as very aggressive, which I think is kind of funny sounding for some reason. I can't really tell you why, but it sounds funny to me. Very aggressive. Yeah, I see why they say that. It is super, super. Well, there's just a really, you can just get a really freaking good grip on it. Um, but it's not, it's not like the cheap, it, it doesn't hurt your hands. Like, like, uh, I don't know if you've ever used like a cheap chrome, uh, finish where it has neural on it and it's basically just a cheese grater. It's not like that. This is just the right amount of grip to help you, uh, rip the, rip the bar off the floor or get a nice, super good hole in it when you're about to do some, uh, bend the bar when you're about to do some, some, some heavy bench press. Or again, have this thing stick to the back of your back of your neck while you're doing squats. So I think I covered just about everything I wanted to. This again is the Ohio Power Bar. You get those sweet end caps. Me being an Ohio an Ohio guy, I gotta say, that did influence my decision to purchase this. Just just the hair. Um, but mainly because I just read glowing reviews about it and I by no means disappointed. I'm very glad I, I, I spent spent the spent a little extra money on this thing. All right, if you guys have any uh, any questions or um, any points that 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 I failed to speak on that you think are worth noting, please drop them in the comments below. I'm Rob Shoecraft with Three Storm Fitness, and I ask you to please subscribe to my videos and have a terrific day. If you could have a terrific day, that's most important to me. Thank you so much. Bye bye.